need to create a project plan for a new project assigned to you. You have noted the tasks for the project in a Microsoft Excel workbook. To use these tasks in your project plan, you use the New from Excel Workbook option. You locate the existing Microsoft Excel workbook that you want to use to create a new project. After you locate the file, you need to import the data from the workbook to your project plan. The import wizard guides you through the import process. The first step is to map the data in the workbook to the appropriate fields in Project 2010. You can create a new map, use a predefined map, or use an existing map that you saved earlier to import data from the workbook. The import map determines the type of data to import and the correlation of fields between the Microsoft Excel file and the fields in the Project 2010 file. Next, you need to specify how you want to import the data. You can import the data to the active project, merge the data with the active project, or import the data as a new project file. You want to create a new project, so select the As a New Project option. The next step is to specify the types of project information you want to import. You can import information about tasks, resources, and assignments. In this case, the Microsoft Excel workbook contains only a list of tasks, so select the Tasks checkbox. You can choose to import or not import the header row in the Excel workbook by selecting or deselecting the Import Includes Headers checkbox. By default, this checkbox is selected. Then you need to specify the worksheet in the source Microsoft Excel workbook that contains the data you want to import to create your project plan. You can then map each row in the Microsoft Excel workbook with specific fields in the project plan. You can also insert or delete rows to change the fields that you import. Finally, you come to the end of the import process. You can save the settings you have configured in the wizard as a map for future use. Project 2010 imports the data from the workbook and creates a new project plan. You can see that the tasks in the Microsoft Excel workbook have been imported to the new project plan and are displayed in the task name column. After you create your plan, you can change the project information by using the options available on the project tab. In the project information dialog box, you can specify the start date and finish date. You can also specify whether you want the project to be scheduled from the start date or the finish date. In addition, you can specify the base calendar to use as the project calendar. By default, the standard calendar is used. By default, Project 2010 sets the project start date to the current date. You can change the project start date. You can define a work breakdown structure, WBS, code for the project. The WBS is an alphanumeric code that uniquely identifies each position of each task in the work breakdown structure. You can save the new project plan that you have created by using the options on the Save and Send page in the Backstage view. You can also save the file by using the Save or Save As options in the Backstage view. By default, your project plan is saved in the Project 2010 file format. You can save your project plan in the Microsoft Project 2007 or Microsoft Project 2000 or 2003 format or as a project template. You can also save the project plan as an Excel workbook or in the XML format. Let's save the project plan in the default Project 2010 format. When you save a file, you can specify whether you want to create a backup copy, set a protection password to open the file, set a password to edit the file, or set the file as read-only. You can now save your project plan to the required location. In this demonstration, you have seen how to create a project plan from an existing workbook, edit project information, and save the project plan in Project 2010.